we stand in the truth of God's word. We can openly talk with the word of Jesus. We can openly read the Bible with students. We can openly pray with them. And so let's take advantage of that. Every one of our students, every grade has Bible class. We have chapel every week. So our kindergartners go to chapel. Our middle schoolers go to chapel. Our sophomores go to chapel, right? Um, it's organized where again, they're presented with God's truth. I love the focus of Cornerstone, which of course is discipleship, right? Which is working with the next generation. Uh, you're reading Psalms, you're reading the book of Judges. Hey, we need to teach the next generation about the, the work of God, about Jesus Christ. And so discipleship impacts everything we do. So that means in our life, that should impact everything I do. And thus here at the school, it impacts everything we do. One part of discipleship is community. To a new parent, guess what? When you join our school, you're a part of our community. One of the biggest things about being in community is the ability to be real with other people. Being vulnerable and walking through life situations with other people, and I know at Cornerstone that I can do that. Whether it's a family night at Skate City or going to a basketball game and sitting with the same families that you sit with and yell and scream and, you know, <laughs> get a little rowdy, you find connection and you find community with them because you have these relationships, you can carry each other's burdens. When I think of community, I think of the early church and how they had everything in common. Um, and they were seeing and praising God with all that they had um, together. And I think that that is the root of the community here, is that we have everything in common because we have Christ in common. And because it's the foundation in the classroom, it's gonna be the foundation in relationships and relationships are community. And I think mission trips to helped us to see being a Christian does not just mean coming to a Christian school and going to church on Sunday. I want these people for him and for his glory because one day we will sit at the throne and every nation, every mm -hmm. tribe, tongue, and nation, and what a glorious picture that is and what a day to look forward to. Mm -hmm. um, but we, we have to start now and um, he used 12, so he can use America's church and he can use us. We believe in high academic standards. That's part of discipleship. Academic standards doesn't mean, hey, we want only students that are going to ace the ACT. Because of discipleship, we believe we need to help you learn. And so I think parents can expect that they're going to have high academic standards, but we're going to come around them and help, help their students succeed in those standards. That was the biggest thing I think I took away was we were discipled to make disciples. Mm -hmm. um, and our teachers modeled that by yeah. being disciple makers to us. The Bible says we've all, we've all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. That starts with the principle. Mr. Hood has, has sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. But this generation, I think, of all the generations in the recent history need to know God loves you. And I firmly believe that someone that comes to Cornerstone is going to hear that message over and over and over again. And I don't just mean from a chapel speaker or from their teacher, but they're going to see it and hear it with actions as they get loved on.